So when, um, when people walk through our front door, they're, they're really after one thing. There's a whole host of things going on in everyone's lives and, and the reason that they walk through the front door might be because they're looking for some social interaction. It might be because they are food insecure and they're, they're wanting a meal. They might be needing some emergency relief or to use our facilities like the showers and the laundry. But when you scratch the surface, there's, a, there's, a lot, there's always you know, a lot more going on. And what we're not about is simply addressing those surface needs, providing you know, the use of the facilities and see you later. We welcome people in. We ask to hear their story if they're willing to tell it. We get to know them. We encourage them to come back. And we've got people who come every day and we love that. We, we use the Neighbourhood Centre as what we call a soft entry point to get to know people, to find out what kind of, you know, wraparound support services they need to improve their situations and to, yeah, to get, to get everything that, that they might need. So I suppose an example would be um, that uh, someone might come in for a shower. They walk through the front door and they say, I've, I've, you know, g'day, I've heard you've got um, showers here, am I able to take a shower? We say, yeah, absolutely, um, you know, show them around, this is our facility, um, and, and just start a conversation. Usually if people are needing a shower, it might be because they're without a home. So we know instantly that we could provide support here at the centre and within our larger organisation, Communify Queensland, to uh, try and see if we can help address the homelessness. Um, we might be able to ask, if they want to stay for lunch while they're here, if they want a food parcel. We do food parcels on Mondays, we do lunch every day. Um, if there's any kind of mental health issues, physical health issues, alcohol and other drug use issues that are happening in um, people's lives, we can, um, we can refer, with, again, within the organisation or external to the organisation um, to um, you know, one of our mental health programs. We can um, we can try and engage people in our uh, groups and activities to address uh, social isolation, which is a really big issue in communities, um, and and bring people together. So, yeah, yeah. The best way for people to reach out and make contact is to just come to the neighbourhood centre, have a coffee. We've got a beautiful coffee program. Um, and meet your community, meet, um, meet the people that are here, say hello, see what we do, get involved if, if you're interested to, and, um, and just have a look around. Yeah, it's a really beautiful and impressive space. It's an, it's an absolute honour to coordinate New Farm Neighbourhood Centre, and um, one of the great privileges I've had uh, since I started working down here is I've had a number of people approach me and tell me that this is a safe space and that they feel safe here. And that, I can say honestly, is the biggest compliment I think anyone who, who works in the community's sector can hear. And, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just really so grateful to have heard that on a number of occasions now.